Welcome back to the news on RT America tonight. There is a new report out from Food Democracy Now! and the Detox Project, and they have found alarming levels of the chemical glyphosate. Now, the report says glyphosate is in many of America's most popular foods. Folks, this is a weed killer, glyphosate, and it was classified by the World Health Organization as a probable human carcinogen. Joining me now to talk about this is Dave Murphy, his founder and executive director at Food Democracy Now!, who issued the report. Dave, good to have you on tonight. Tell us, how dangerous Hi, is Thank glyphosate? How, how dangerous is it? Sure. Listen, glyphosate, you know, it's the main uh, ke main ingredient, chemical ingredient in Roundup, Montana's best-selling weed killer Roundup. And the, the issue is that the glyphosate use has exploded in the last 20 years because farmers in the U.S. and around the world have adopted genetically engineered crops, Roundup-ready crops that are engineered to be, survive being sprayed with large amounts of glyphosate, this weed killer. The problem really is, um, and we found this in these studies, we really had no idea where we were going to find or how much we were going to find, but it's very shocking that the, the largest, the highest level that we found is in Cheerios, you know, General Mills Cheerios, which is one of the first cereals that a mother feeds their child at between ages six months and a year. And those levels found in Cheerios, which are 1,125.3 parts per billion, are simply off the charts. And the question really is, what is the U.S. government doing to protect the American people? And the quick answer to that is it appears not much, unfortunately. And, and when you look at the major food groups that uh, it, it ends up in, how alarming is this? Should yeah. Congress take a second look at this? Yeah, just, yeah, listen, you know, glyphosate has been on the market for 40 years. And you look at I, what we did is a year and a half long investigation to the scientific research that the EPA accepted. We also studied the research that the EU, the European Union, used to determine what were the safe levels, what they're called as acceptable daily intake or ADI levels, that the federal, U.S. federal government allows. The U.S. government's number is over almost six times higher than the EU even though they relied on the same safety studies or the safety assessments to determine that level. So what we found in this, in this new study with an FDA certified laboratory, shockingly, the highest amounts that we found in this first, this is really a first round of testing to understand how widespread Monsanto's wheat killer is in our food supply. I'm from a small town in Iowa, and I'll just say this, it's the most widely used chemical in the Midwest. And the problem with that is, Iowa has the highest rates of cancer. And like you said, last year, the World Health Organization, the most credible health organization on the planet, mm. 17 of their scientists reviewed glyphosate and determined that it was a class 2A probable carcinogen. Now, ironically, the Monsanto responds to these leading scientific experts and calls it junk science. And they say that they're activist scientists, which is shocking. Even worse is the U.S. federal government's response. The EPA basically said they've agreed with Monsanto. And that is, of course, after Monsanto had two or three meetings in behind closed doors and showed all their scientific evidence. The real problem is, though, the data that Monsanto submits for these safety assessments in the 1970s and 80s and now 90s is out of date. Even worse is the fact that they're allowed to hide that data from the American public and even the mm. scientific community. So you can't really properly assess the safety of a chemical if half the data is hidden from the scientific community. Interesting. We're just yeah. calling for a further investigation from the EPA. And here's the thing. So you asked about the food levels. What we really found is in 2014, General Mills Cheerios removed GMOs from Cheerios. So now we have the highest level on a product that does not contain GMOs, but it's because there's pre-harvest spraying of Roundup on oats and on barley and wheat to basically it's a pre-harvest drying agent to get that crop yeah. in, off a farmer's field and sold to the market as soon as possible. There's no doubt a domino effect to all of this. Dave Murphy, founder and uh, creator, executive director of Food Democracy Now! Appreciate your time tonight. I'm sure there'll be more research on all of this. Thanks so much.